Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math Olympiad algebra problem. So here we have m plus n equals 200 and m n equals to 1000 and we solve this problem for the values of m and n. So here first we call this is our equation number 1 and we call this is our equation number 2. Uh, so here first we need to focus on equation number 1 so that from equation number 1 we have now here we move this plus m to the right hand side and we get the value of n is equals to 100 minus m and we call this is our equation number 3. So now here uh, in order to find the value of n and m we first need to put the value of this n in equation number 2 so that uh, uh, equation number 2 is implies that first you have m times of n and we have the value of n is this is 100 minus m and it is equals to 1000 uh, so here we need to simplify the terms and we multiply this m on both of these values and it will be written as 100 m minus this is m times of m becomes m squared and it is equals to 1000 so now we need to convert this is uh, this equation into the standard quadratic form so for this we move these two terms to the right hand side so first you see here this is minus m square when we move in the right hand side it will becomes plus m square this is plus 100 m it will becomes minus 100 and m so in the right hand side we have this is plus 1000 and it is equals to 0. So now you see here this equation will become quadratic in m variable so uh, here you know that how to solve a quadratic equation uh, so we have three methods to solve the quadratic equation the first method uh, is factorization method and the second is completing square and the third method is by using the quadratic formula uh, so uh, here uh, we apply the quadratic formula in order to solve this quadratic equation now first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1, b equals to minus 100 and c is equals to 1000 uh, and uh, we state the quadratic formula as m equals to minus b plus minus square root of uh, b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a this is the our quadratic formula and now we need to uh, substitute the values of a b and c in this nice formula so it will be written as m equals minus b the value of b is minus 100 so it will becomes minus times of uh, minus 100 and plus minus square root of this is minus 100 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is 1000 and it is uh, divided by 2 times of a so here our a is equals to 1 so further in the next step uh, we need uh, more simplifications and here we have uh, so first you have this is minus uh, times of minus 100 will be written as plus 100 and plus minus square root of and now here you see that minus 100 square is equals to 10,000 minus this is 4 times of uh, 1000 and it is divided by 2 times of 1 equals to 2 and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and we write it as this is 100 plus minus square root of this is 10,000 and we write it as 1000 multiplied by 10 we know that 1000 multiplied by 10 equals to 1000 10,000 and minus uh, this is 4 times of 1000 and it is divided by 2 and now here in the next step we have m is equals to this is 100 plus minus here we need to take common uh, 1000 and we get the remaining value is 10 minus 4 and its whole square root and it is divided by 2. 
so further in the next step we need more simplifications here and we have m is equals to this is 100 plus minus so here we have this is uh, 1000 multiplied by 10 minus 4 becomes here 6 and it's a whole square root divided by 2 uh, and now here in the next step we need more simplifications and we have m is equals to 100 plus minus this will be written as a square root of 6000 divided by 2 and now here in the next step we break this 6000 as in this form this is a 100 plus minus we write the 6000 as 400 multiplied by 15 and it is divided by 2 so here uh, we know that the square root of this 400 is equals to 20 into square root of 15 divided by 2 so this is the value of m uh, and now here we break this fraction and we get our m is equal to this 2 is cancelled out by this 100 and we get 50 plus minus this is 10 times of uh, square root of 50. So this is the two values of m and now here from these two values of m we will find the corresponding values of m. So for this we need equation number 3 here. Equation number 3 is implies that n is equal to 100 minus m. So now here in order to find the values of n we put the above values of m here so we have two values of m are here we first put the value of m is positive it is 50 plus 10 times of square root of 15 and in the second case we put the negative value of m it is 50 minus 10 times of square root of 15 so we put these two values in equation number 3 so when you put this value here it will be written as n is equals to 100 minus m and the value of m in that case is 50 plus 10 times of uh, square root of 15 and uh, in this case we have n is equals to 50 minus uh, sorry first you have the value of uh, uh, this is 100 and so this is our 100 and minus m the value of m is 50 minus 10 times of uh, square root of 15 so further in the next step uh, we have n is equals to here we multiply this negative sign on both of these values and we get here 100 minus 50 becomes 50 minus 10 times of square root of 15 so this is the value of n corresponding to the value of m is this one similarly in this case we have n is equals to this is 100 minus 50 becomes 50 and this is minus times of minus becomes plus 10 times of square root of 15. This is the second value of n corresponding to the value of m is this one. So this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.